Well, listen, welcome everybody. Thank you for uh, joining us this afternoon. Uh, we are really excited to launch our new Gen 10 focus, SMB focused uh, products, including our AMD microserver and our Clear OS from Clear Center. AMD is, uh, excuse me, uh, SMB and the SMB market space is hugely important at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. And as you may know, we have a significant market share lead in this space. We've been number one for quite some time and will be number one for uh, as long as any of us in the room have a say about it. Um, it's a really important market for us in that it is uh, a very profitable market um, and it's a market that is high velocity, um, which is, again, really important for our growth in the future. We've put a lot of uh, emphasis on not only go to market, but also products in the last few years. We launched the uh, Easy Connect um, product last year, which is sold as a service. It's a compute storage and networking device. Uh, seamlessly connects to the private cloud or the public cloud. Um, and then we're going to step it up again by launching the AMD microserver, relaunching the AMD microserver. Again, another really important product for us because it drives so much volume in the marketplace. Um, but first, um, I'm going to introduce Alana Adrioli, our Senior Vice President of uh, the Data Center Infrastructure Group, to talk nice. about our partnership with Clear Center and Clear OS. And I'm also going to introduce Michael Proper, who is the CEO of Clear Center. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. So we are. Would you join me, um, Michael? Uh, Michael, uh, Michael Proper is the founder and CEO of uh, Clear Center, and we are very happy with the relationship that we are officially seeing today, while we have been working together for, for a few months. We think that um, um, Clear Center is going to be a disruptive force in the, in the medium market with, the, um, with Clear OS. Clear OS is uh, we had the we had the chance I had the chance to learn what it does and it's quite impressive. You all have a, a PDA in your pocket and you know how it works. You have access to a number of applications and if you have an iPhone, you have uh, thousands. If you have another one, you may have more or less. With Clear OS, you have access to already 140 applications that you can download on this. And this becomes the ultimate object, the ultimate IT object that you have in your uh, store, in your company, in your business, if you are an SMB. So how did you, how did you think about this? Can you tell us a little bit the history of, uh, of uh, Clear OS? Because I am just amazed by the potential of what you have done. That's wonderful. We're grateful for the opportunity to be able to be here. Can everybody hear me okay? This is the first time we're doing Testing, testing, there we go. So it's good to be here and grateful for the introduction and opportunity to be here. Um, historically, we actually were in the service provider space. So like many of the partners here, we actually were trying to integrate hardware, software, and services to be able to deliver to customers. And we found that scaling our business was an issue, as well as our customers always said, you know, we want to pay less or we want to have better value. And we looked at open source technology, and the next thing you know, you see this web-based interface that makes tech, open source technology usable starting to be realized. And then from there, we adapted a marketplace to it. And then every single day, as time goes on, we get first 30 installs a day, then 50 installs, then 150, and it continues to grow. And the next thing we see is, well, we need to integrate it with hardware. What's the best hardware in the world? You look back HP at that and, and we actually, we, we were installing on a DL380s at that time. But prior to that, in the mid-90s, we grew up with the compact brand, the trusted brand of ProLiant. And so when it came time to select what's the right platform, it was easy for us. So the exclusive relationship between Clear Center and Hewlett Packard Enterprise to enable really what we look at as the next generation of not just the server world, but of IT, so it combines not only server feature functions like file print and messaging, but also things at the gateway and the network layer. So you can protect your clients. You can make sure that they're secure, make sure their users are productive. You can also, a lot of the threats that are continuing to emerge and will continue to emerge 
we focus heavily on building apps that make sure that, that becomes a, not a reality. So that's a kind of an overview. So I don't know, Michael, if people here in the audience realize the scale of what you have done in a very short amount of time. How many customers do you already have? So there's over 400,000 customers installations in over 150 countries in over 80 languages. And a customer doesn't mean a user. Yeah, more users than customers. Right. So our, how many users do you have? Our app, so there's a little bit over 10 million that are app, that are users. So on each installation, there is about 29 users on average. On average. And which percentage of them end up paying something? Because you have a freemium version and then eventually people need more support? Right. So there's about a 12% conversion today. So in the open source world with freemium models, that's actually a pretty high conversion. So, you know, we, we don't know why it's so high. We, uh, we, we hope it, uh, it can get higher, but the reality is it's a good high conversion. Well, but i tell you what I found most impressive than anything else when I discussed with Michael is, is that this whole business he just painted to you, he owns it 100% himself. <laughs> <laughs> he has no private equity, no VC, no stock market, nothing. It's his own making. Such well, a young man, I think he deserves a round of applause. <laughs> That's not, that's not entirely true. <laughs> that's what you told me, though. Well, but so, so let's clarify. You're, you're absolutely right. There's no venture folks into it. And we do control it. And there's no board members that can mess it up. And there's no public markets that can taint it. But there are many people that have helped us to be able to make this a reality. And I personally am only one shareholder of many, granted the controlling shareholder by a long shot, but <laughs> there's a big team of people, and it's not just the team employees. that's here. Employees. Stock employees. Stock yeah, employees <laughs> stock options, you could say it that way. But there's over 103,000 community members in the ClearOS community that have helped that product to be able to mature. So in the open source world, it's not just about one, one individual or one company but it's about the world being able to make technology better. And that's why you've seen open source technology leapfrog the closed source world. So awesome. we're just grateful to be stewards in all of this, if that makes sense. So Peter, when you met with Michael, what, you, what did you decide to do with, with this relationship? Yeah, so um, we do have an exclusive relationship with, uh, with the Clear Center for the Clear OS product. And so we will be preloading uh, Clear OS on um, multiple ProLiance as well as the AMD microserver. Should we look at it? I think we should. Vlad? We're missing AMD. Should we bring Vlad Brazanovic up here? Thank you, Vlad. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back in the data center, Vlad. <laughs> great to be back in the data center. Absolutely great to be back in the data center. Oh, you have no microphone. I don't have a microphone. He's got one. Thank, thank you, everybody. I, uh, I really appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here with HPE today. Uh, it's an exciting day today for AMD. Uh, really, it's the first server product we've launched uh, with Hewlett Packard Enterprise in quite some time, and hopefully the first of many to come. So today we are very excited to be here uh, with Hewlett uh, Packard Enterprise, with Clear o OS, and we think this is gonna be a very exciting time for all the channel partners and all the end customers out there. So thank you, Alain. Thank you, Alain. Okay, so let's look at the puppy. <laughs> it is so small. Peter, why did you make it so small? <laughs> it's so tiny. Because everybody loves the small form factor. Didn't you tell me that you did this for Japan originally because the Japanese like it small? No, they like it thin. Ah. <laughs> this this was a, a huge seller has been in Europe, but also in the United States. Uh, it will it will play very well in Asia Pacific as well, but uh, the Japanese market is very different. They like thin. So what does this do? So this is a great SMB entry server. It does everything that a normal server would do, file, print, um, you know, email. Uh, so, you know, and, and with ClearOS and all the applications uh, that the ClearOS um, App Center provides, it will do uh, almost everything that your small business will need. How much does it cost? Well, so this actually starts at $299. Woo! 
Three ninety nine. Excuse me. How much more? Three ninety nine. We'll have it on, uh, sometimes uh, promotion wise for two ninety nine. But but fully configured uh, in, in the Clear OS um, operating system. The beauty of it is it comes free. So rather than paying. Uh, the the, price the Microsoft price. OS Windows license, which is, you know, $600, this comes free with really an OS that's more usable, more user-friendly, and has access to uh, an entire app center, so. And so within the 399 how much is there for, for AMD? How much is there for AMD? <laughs> Uh, Actually, what I was a fair say, a fair amount. Free. How about a fair amount? He's free. He is free. You know, but but one of the cool opportunities about this box in particular is it does have upgrade options. So if you need more than two 4K out displays, there is an AMD graphics card option, the XW2100. And so we're hoping that that really kind of picks up the opportunity there. So if anybody's looking for 4K display and upsell capabilities, that's where AMD is going to make a little bit more. <laughs> Excellent. Alain, can I go through some of the technical realities here? So, I love this unit for a couple reasons. One, it's going to enable HPE to be able to compete in the Synergy, or the, the actual NAS world. So with folks like Synergy, or specifically Synology, uh, when you look at Drobo, when you look at QNAP, the storage capabilities. So I don't know if you've seen this. Don't, don't break it. <laughs> four, four hot drive, and they're hot pluggable, so you don't even need rails anymore. You put screws in. So 40 terabytes of storage in a unit today that ships with 10 terabyte drives, disruptive, right? For a price point of a couple hundred bucks, three, four hundred dollars. One of the other things that's unique about it is we're not just talking about a server, we're talking about a network device. And, and if there's anything that you take away from this, this is what you've got to understand. These two ports, now HPE with Clear OS, can actually compete at the gateway and the network layer. You don't need Cisco, Sonic Wall. You can do the same features and functions with this system. But what's also very interesting is that this is a great opportunity for the partners, right? Because they can support, they can integrate, they can build the solution for the customer, and you are partner-centric in your business. Absolutely. This is so what's he there for a partner? Partners can build businesses specifically delivering hardware, software services for a monthly fee. Or a system that basically deploys, and it's not just on the micro server, but many other servers. So the partners effectively pay less money for the product and can make more money overall. So there's additional services and value add that they can deliver. Example, uh, content filter updates, intrusion detection updates, multi-WAN connections. This system, which looks like a storage-based device, can also connect offices, can send secure messages. It's very disruptive at a price point of three, four hundred dollars. I'm going to buy one for home. There you go. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, guys. I think if, if this is done, we we'll, look at yeah, the video. Let's roll the video. Conclude, right? Introducing the new HPE ProLiant Microserver Gen 10. Perfect for small businesses and professionals looking for powerful processing capabilities. This compact but robust microserver is designed to fit in any home or workspace. And at this price, even the smallest startup can have enough bandwidth to compete with the big guys. Oh, um, are you talking to me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> That's true. Artwork, imaging, and multimedia are all easy. That is impressive, I must admit. You mean how you can easily and quickly install hard drives, upgrade memory, add an ODD or SATA SSDS with extra PCI slots for graphic cards, networking cards, or serial port cards? Oh, wow. An OS that lets me select all the apps in the marketplace that I want, and nothing I don't. There are so many apps to choose from. Remote data backup, gateway antivirus, dynamic VPN, Plex media server, I can't keep up. Microserver, are you still there? Oh, the strong silent type. The new HPE ProLiant Microserver Gen 10.
Hopefully you're as excited as we all are. Uh, now go out and sell a million of these with as many apps as possible. I want to thank uh, Alon for being here and, and participating along with Vlad and Michael. Thank you. Thank you.